section d starts from your page number 152 the solution question start from question number 8 for two related variable x and y the information which is given in the question is sigma x minus x bar whole square is 80 and sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar is 60 and the value of x bar and y bar is given out of which we have to find out regression line of y on x by looking at this formula hope you remember the first step is already solved by solving x bar and y bar the next step is to find out b so first let's find out the b and to find out the b that here the information is given so here we are going to use this formula as the information related to it is given sigma x minus x bar whole square so the value of this which is given in the question is 60 and upon 80 on the solution we get 0.75 the next information we need to find out regression line is a that is y bar minus b x bar here we have the value of y bar 10 minus b just now we found 0.75 and the x bar is 8 10 minus 0.75 into 8 here we get the value 6 so here we found the value of a 4 Let's keep the value in the formula. The value of a is four, b zero point seventy five, and keep x as it is, as no other information is given related to the value of x. Moving to the next question number nine. If x bar is thirty, y bar is fifty, correlation coefficient is given zero point eight, and standard deviation of x and y is given two and five. and out of this we are we have to find out regression line of y on x so here out of this information we'll just change the formula to find out b which will go by this so first we'll find out the value of b that is r into sy upon sx that is standard deviation r which is given in the question is 0.8 standard deviation of x is 2 which will go down that is denominator and numerator will keep 5 that is sy calculate this equation 0.8 multiply by 5 divide by here we get 2.5 get multiply by 0.8 the answer will be 2 the next information is to find out a that is y bar minus b x bar y bar which is given in the question is 50 b just now we found and x bar is 30 over here so 50 minus 2 into 30 60 get the minus you will get the answer minus 10 now let's keep the information in the regression line the value of a is minus 10 plus the value of b 2 and x keep it as it is Question number ten: If the regression line of y on x is y cap is equal to eleven plus three x, and standard deviation x is to standard deviation y is equal to three is to ten, out of this information, here the question say to find out coefficient of determination, that is the value of r square. So out of this, first take the regression line, that is y cap is equal to eleven plus three x. when the question is asking coefficient of determination obviously there is no value come over here for r but still if it is given understand why it is here remember the formula of y cap that is a plus bx so out of this we can find out the value of b 11 will be the value of a and 3 will be the value of b so out of this here you can see this is the one of the formula which will go to out of this information So here we'll write down b r into s y upon s x. So b just now we found the value of b will be three. Keep r as it is. Now here, when it is given the information like this, it will be turned like s x divided by s y is equal to three upon ten. And if you check in the formula, we need s y upon s x. so that will be we can just switch them like s y s x is equal to 10 will be in the numerator and 
3 will be in the denominator. This is how you can switch it then. So take this value as a 10 upon 3. Now 10 divided by 3, here we get 3.33. So it would be like 3.33 R. Now let's divide it. Take it down. Divide by 3. 3 divided by 3.33. Here you will get the value of R is equal to 0 0.33. 9. Hope you understood. Moving to the next question. Question number 11. Here is the information n is equal to 7. Sigma u is equal to 2. Sigma u square 160. Sigma v is 25. And sigma u v is 109. And out of this, here the question asks to find out regression coefficient of regression line y on x and interpret it. Now here they are asking to find out b. So out of this information the formula which will go that is n sigma uv minus sigma u sigma v upon n sigma u square minus sigma u whole square. Now let's take the information n is equal to 7 sigma uv is 409 minus sigma u is 2 sigma v. 25 upon 7 sigma u square is 160 minus sigma u is 2 whole square. Now let's calculate it that is 2863 2 into 25 it would be 50 7 into 160 you will get 1120 and 2 square that is 4. Get them minus you will get 2813 divide by 1 one one six and here we find the value of b is 2.52 the question is also asking to interpret so here we can say that estimated increase as it is just an estimated increase of 2.52 unit in the value of variable y Moving to the next question. In question number 12, three questions has been asked and out of which B, Y, X is already given 0 0.8 and asked to find out the value of B, V, U. Now for this, remember the formula. Here they ask you to B, V, U. So this formula we are going to take. So B, V, U is equal to B, Y, X into C, X divided by C, Y. And out of this, the information for BYX is given 0 0.8 into CX. U is equal to X minus assume mean divided by CX. V is equal to Y minus 90 divided by CY. Must be the value of CX1 and also for the CY1. So it is not shown over here. So take it as 1 upon 1. Here the answer will be 0 0.8. Next situation given is u is equal to x minus 1400 divided by 100 and for v it is given y minus 750 divided by 50. So here we get the value of cx and cy and again in the question is asked to find out bvu that is byx into cx divided by cy. Again, the value will be keep 0 0.8 and for CX, we get the value of 100 and for CY, here we got 50. Let's calculate and the answer will be 1.6. The third situation in this question was U is equal to 10 X minus 4.6 and V is equal to Y minus 75. Now, upon must be cx and cy which is not given in the question it is just for the explanation so must be one and over here also one so get them the value of cx will be one upon ten and cy there is no number written over here so it will remain one now let's take the formula bvu is equal to byx into cx 
divide by c y here the value of b y x was 0 0.8 c x if we calculate you will get 0 0.1 so c x will be 0 0.1 and c y will be 1 means 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.1 you will get the answer 0 0.08 moving to the last question of section D question number 13 which is given on your page number 152 now here the number of observation that is n mean of x that is x bar is equal to 100 and y bar is equal to 100 the sum of square of deviation taken from mean now that's x minus x bar whole square the square of deviation and over here y minus y bar whole square at the same time the sum of product of deviation taken from the mean that is x minus x bar and y minus y bar sigma so all the information first take in your book this is how you have to write down and again in the question they asked to find the regression line y on x where their formula is y cap is equal to a plus bx so out of this information first we'll find out b and to find out b the formula which will go that is sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar upon sigma x minus x bar whole square let's take their value 115 and divide by 130 and here we get the answer 0 0.88 the next we have to find out is a that is y bar minus b x bar the value of y bar is given 100 minus b just now we found 0 0.88 and the value of x bar is again 100 so here 100 minus multiplication of these two will be 88 so here we get the answer 12 now here we can find out the regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus bx where the value of a is 12 and b is 0.88x this was the last question from the section d next will be section e